Assalamu alaikum, namaste, sat shakal, shalom and good day. You are listening to Awaz Community Radio. And it's a very special show today because we have somebody who's special. I'll be saying the word special a lot. Stay tuned and you'll find out why. It's been a long time coming and I'm still not there. Almost to Japan, just got to get in the air and off the ground. If you'd like more information about us, you can log on to our website. That's www.awazcommunityradio.com. You can email us, awazcommunityradio at gmail.com. If you want to give us a call the good old-fashioned way, it's 161 or catch us on Facebook and Twitter. For Twitter, it's at awazradio122. For Facebook, just type in Awaz Community Radio. Thank you for tuning in to Awaz Community Radio and your host for today is Sarah and my co-host is Sarah. Hi Sarah. Hi. Hi. I will try really hard not to confuse the listeners. <laughs> Sarah and Sarah. Sarah and Sarah. Okay, that will be so easy for our, guest, for our guest now. So how are you today Sarah? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. It's it's nice to see a bit of, you know, sun shining in Manchester. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It is and it's it's a shame we're inside really for it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah it's it's good it's, it's good to have the sun you know sort of shining through into the office yeah. <laughs> okay well our guest today is ola uh, and he's from greater manchester police welcome to the um our radio station uh ola oh thank you very much zaira um glad to be here well thank you very much for accepting our invite so can you tell our listeners a bit more about yourself um i'm full name ola ajani um i i've been a special with greater manchester police now for three and a half years um, a day job, uh, I'm a customer experience manager. Um, that simply means I look after people. Um, and that's, that's it about me, really. Oh, shall we go home now? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. This, <laughs> this show is all about Ola, and Sarah and I have been chatting to Ola about what he does with Greater Manchester Police. So, your role is you are a police special or special constable? Yeah, um, we normally use special constable, um, so I'm currently special sergeant, uh, which means um, I have responsibility for about 16 special constables who report directly into me, and I just make sure they're okay when they go out, um, they know what they're doing, support them, um, show them things they're not comfortable about, to so make sure we're delivering the, the um, correct service to the public, really. So can you explain, what is the difference between um, a regular police constable and a special one? So the difference between the, the regular police officers is that that's their main job, so they get paid um, to do that job, and that's what they do full time. Um, whereas the special constables are volunteers, um, you know, from the age of 18 years old upward, you can volunteer to be a police officer really, because you do the same job. You have the same power, you, you wear the same uniform, um, you patrol the same beat, so it's more or less the same job, only that you're volunteering and as part of that you need to do a minimum of 16 hours a week, uh, um, sorry, 16 hours a month um, rather, uh, which means um, that's your minimum. You can do 100 if you can do it, but it's just you volunteering for the police and you do a minimum of 16 hours a month. So did you know about volunteering, Sarah? No, no, I actually didn't. No, it's new to me. It's quite interesting. I think it's still something a lot of people don't know about. Yeah. That you can volunteer with the police. So I didn't know that. So where did you hear about it? Um, so for me, coming from a, a black community, um, you know, amongst my friends, we have a lot of um, opinion about the police. And, you know, they, you know I can remember... Um, six, seven years ago, um, the policing is something that, from my community, uh, nobody's kind of interested in that job. We believe it's not for us. Uh, and for me, it's a conversation I had with a, a, a very good friend of mine who said, you know, you can criticize the system or you can join the system and see what it's about. Um, and that kind of made me think, you know, why can't I just join it? And because I'm a special, it means I have the time to actually experience the job before I decide if I want to do it full time or not. And um, so I went online and I saw the um, the advert for a special constable, which I applied for. 
Um, and you know, it was a long process from, from the application to go through the assessment and fitness test, online exam and all of those. Um, and eventually I was successful and you, you know, after you've been successful, you have to go through um, about six month training um, just to make sure you're equipped with everything you need to learn because it is a difficult job. Um, so you need to be comfortable with the law. Uh, you need to know how to speak to people and communication and the way you present yourself so it's a lot of skill set that you need to learn as part of it and you know i went through all of that um, and i've been going now for three and a half years you know i've been promoted to a sergeant and i've never looked back it's been a wonderful experience for me the highlights of your first year like what did you enjoy doing and being a police officer you know even as a special you get to see um, you know you get to co connect with your community you got to see them you got to speak to them uh, I quite enjoy going out and speaking to people you know because people look at the police and they think it's all about locking people up arresting people but there's much to policing than that and for me it's been going out to the community, even me being there, give people the assurance that we're safe, you know, we have a police officer around. Um, and that's been the key thing for me. You know, I've been part of a, a couple of events, uh, which again, I've really enjoyed. Um, to mention few, I've been to sanctuary um, event, where it's a community event with a lot of kids, young people there, mm -hmm. and you get to speak to them, they ask you questions. Um, I remember going out um, to more side um, with the, working with a police cadet. Again, these are people ranging from age of 14 to 17. Um, you know, they ask you about your life experience. How did you become a special? What do you do um, for your day job? How did you get to where you are? And those things for me is, is key and this is, is what I really enjoyed about policing. You know, talking to people, helping people out, um, seeing people that have been a victim of crime, supporting them through it, reassuring them that whoever is done it to them will be arrested and doing all I can to make sure um, justice is done. Um, so th that's been the highlight of, of my um, first year. So how do you juggle two jobs? Like what are the challenges? Um, you know, it, 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 it's, I must say it's, it's good planning. Um, I, you know, I know that I have to do 16 hours minimum with the police. Um, again, I've never done 16 hours. Most of the time I do 30, 40 because mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. And, and I've got my full time job as well, which is 37.5 a week. Um, so planning is key, you know, and I have to spend time with my family and friends as well because I don't want to disconnect with them because I'm, I'm part of the police because that's important as well. So juggling it is just about planning, knowing, you know, I've got to do a minimum of 16. So most of the time I tend to do. Um, weekend sometime Friday night which I can I can do six seven hours on Friday night and that already um, is taking me nearly half of the duty that I have to do mm -hmm. uh, and some of the time I do heli Sundays or heli Saturdays um, so it's, it's just planning at the beginning of the month I kind of plan on these days I want to go out with the police um, and then just put it on my diary and I just follow that through uh, and again, it's very flexible. So if you come in to do something, say I come in to do a Saturday night and something comes up, maybe a friend is celebrating his birthday, you can always cancel it and rebook another duty. Mm -hmm. There's no, um, you, you, you know, you, you're not, there's no penalty for, for changing your duty if you can't come in to them because it's flexible. You're a volunteer and Greater Manchester Police do recognize that, um, that you're volunteering. So they try and support you as much as possible with the date you can do. No, that's great.
So Ola, uh, after three and a half years, clearly you have a lot of experience with the police. Now, like you said a few years ago, you were in a position where you didn't see being with the police, a career with the police as an option, being from the black community. What kind of advice do you have for people who are listening, who are from the minority ethnic communities and so on? You know, when they have that perception, some of them will have that perception that that's not for me. It, they're not welcoming of us. You know, what kind of advice would you have for them? Uh, I think it is still a long way to go in terms of um, um, recruiting from my community, so to say. Uh, I think people still have some perception about the police and, you know, um, what's happened and what they've heard or what they've seen. Um, uh, but personally for me, being part of the policing community has been a wonderful experience. You know, I've had the same opportunity as my white colleague. Um, I've not experienced any sort of discrimination. You know, I've gone in, I've put my duty in. Um, at the end of the shift, I've been appreciated. You know, thank you, officer, for working hard. And it's been no, I've not experienced any, no, no bad feelings, so to say. Um, and I've been spreading this word with my community. I've been speaking to friends about the opportunity I've had and how it's been going. Um, and I've personally recruited a couple of friends into GMP as well as part of that experience. Um, and I think. You know, doing what you guys are doing, you know, interviewing people like myself and um, we'll put the words out there to people that, you know, if you join the system, um, you, you can be part of it. And if, if you want to change that culture of this job is not for black community, you need to do something about it yourself. Um, it, it's easy to sit back and, 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 and give your opinion about things. But when you're part of that system, you see more to it. And if you see a culture you don't like, that you can do something to change it. Um, so I would recommend volunteering um, for Greater Manchester Police to friends and family and to the listener as well. Um, I think it's a great opportunity and I think you'll learn so much from it. And again, you can spread the word about you know, the type of job that the police do and um, how difficult the job is and what we consider when we make decisions which sometimes might not be popular decision, but why we're making those decisions. Um, so that's it really. Thank you so much to Ola today for coming in and chatting about what specials do, what specials are within the police and what they do. Thanks very much, Zaira, for having me. And thank great. you, Sarah, as well. <laughs> it's been great to chat to him, hasn't it, Sarah? Yes, it has. <laughs> We've learned a lot today. And just for our listeners, really, if you want some more information about, you know, vacancies within the police, uh, whether that's paid or unpaid, then if you just need to go online, it's www gmp.police.uk and then mention on the homepage you can find the bit about recruitment and vacancies okay so thank you so much to Sarah for co-hosting today with me thank you <laughs> look forward to having you back on again soon <laughs> uh, right so um, our website is www.awazcommunityradio.com you can log on for more information you can email us it's awazcommunityradio at gmail.com our contact number is 0161839 Catch us on Facebook, just type in Awaz Community Radio or tweet us at Awaz Radio 122. It's been a really informative show today and it's been great having a little co-host with me because um, I have to do so much on my own as well. But um, but yeah, I think it's something it's given us something to think about really. Perhaps, you know, we could all be doing a bit more for our communities. Volunteering is always the way to go. I'm a big fan of volunteering and I wasn't aware very much of volunteering with the police. So and I think that's perhaps the ultimate really in giving back to the community definitely have a think about it give us a, your feedback what do you think about what all has been speaking about today we we'll look forward to hearing from you and in the meantime enjoy the music stay tuned <laughs> <laughs>